Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm glad to see you and I hope everybody had a great day today. This is a little bit different video than I usually do, but I just had to get it out there. You know, there's a restaurant in a state that has a problem and I'm sure that other ones could possibly have the same problem further down the line. I have no idea. But one of the workers killed a customer because a customer was dissatisfied with the food. Oh my goodness. What is, is going on here, for heaven's sakes? I mean, a customer has a right to complain if the food is not what he expected or she expected to receive and pay for. Now come on. Let's not go there and, and get that drastic. You know, that desperate. Uh, calm your tempers down. I mean, my goodness, that was unthinkable. Absolutely. Customers can be irate. Yes, they can. But you have to stay calm and work with them. Not kill them. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is a very sad, sad thing that I read. A lady that is pregnant and has been told by a doctor what uh, her unborn child does not have will be oh it's, it's unthinkable but they are forcing her to carry the fetus full term the baby has no head how could a mother go through such desperate desperate Thing like that to full term when they know the doctors know and I'm sure that it could be going in front of a judge to you know do what needs to be done instead of making this poor mother carry that unborn child to term the baby has no head unthinkable unthinkable Romance has its up and downs, so I read. Two uh, young women murdered another woman that was involved with one of the lady's brothers and murdered her, killed her. I should say killed because they've not went, they are arrested, they are incarcerated, in jail. Um, we'll see what happens if the news carries it through the trial or if uh, they somehow can get off, but they murdered this lady that was involved with one of the girl's brothers. They call it a triangle love affair. Ah, uh, oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. What is this coming to? Lord have mercy. Well, I tell you, I just don't know. Well, President Biden got his thing all done. Billions here, billions there, billions all around, but not for us. Oh well, I guess, you know, we'll get by. We get by ever since we're born. You know, our parents try to raise us right and do the right thing by us, set us up so we can have a good career, make lots of money, live a comfortable life but some of us aren't that fortunate we don't have those luxuries and we grew up hard and we grew up poor and we just learn to be satisfied with what little scrap of food we can get from the grocery store what kind of house we can live in for the cheapest rent and be very very thankful and we are we we are so grateful Oh, well, Biden's going back on vacation now. He's tired. Yes, he's just got billions and billions and billions and billions and billions for this and that and every other little thing. But for us, we will still wait and see if something should happen to come our way. We're thankful for anything. See, creepers. You ready for what may come next? 
I don't see this being a good deal. I really don't. Uh, they're mowing the yard next door, so you're going to hear some background sound. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Pretty little girl. She's a lesbian. And uh, she found a sperm donor. And she went home and impregnated herself. Can you believe that? Yes. And she gave birth to a beautiful, beautiful six pound and some ounce baby boy. So now I guess you can go out and find a donor and impregnate yourself, which we don't need any more children in this world. Not the way this world is going, not the way we're, we're being told what to do, what not to do. And then another article I read where this guy said humans are not going to be needed too much longer because the technical world is going to take over the robots. They'll be doing the jobs. So all us humans, uh, not me because I'm disabled and retired, I'm 79 years old, but uh, the younger ones, they won't have a job. No. No, no employment. No, and if they, you know, they, the technical world is going to take our world over, what's going to happen to the younger people? For heaven's sakes, don't have any more children. Not until something gets settled. So you know you can have a great family, wonderful children, and take care of them and love them and not abuse them and murder them and bury them. and Oh, it's just unreal. What have we come to in this world? You know, and this isn't just the United States of America. It's all over the world. These terrible, horrible things. You know, I, I um, am not a Bible person. Uh, I was raised Bible-ish, let's just say. And I know a lot in the Bible. But um, some things just ain't working out. So I think we better open up that good book. And I think we better start finishing reading it. That's what I think. And pray before you ain't never prayed before. Because things are not good. And they keep getting worse. And we all know it. We all know it. Well, I'm glad the lady had a beautiful baby boy. I hope her and her partner raised that child with its own way of growing up which way to choose, which way not to choose, make the right decisions, and be a good, good citizen, and just, uh, I don't know. You know, you, a person gets lost for words. When you, when you see and read these articles and, and the news clips all the time, and you go, what on earth? But hey, it's been going on since the beginning of time if we stop and think about it. Isn't that right? I want to thank you again for coming to my channel, subscribing to my channel, and hit the like button if you like the articles, and if not, that's okay too. Well, you know, I, uh, like everybody else that has a YouTube channel, we can't please everybody. Although we try to find articles that are interesting and sad, desperate, like I've titled my video, and um, we just do the best we can and hopefully that uh, you come along for the ride. Okay. Well, it's our supper time here in Iowa. And my babies, four-legged babies, are getting hungry. So I better get off of here and feed them. God bless you all. Stay safe and please keep faith. Bye.